Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host Zila, and we are here today doing the Alpha 8 Experimental series. And we are on build 1623 still. The weird thing is, is when I fired up the game, it, it downloaded some updates. It just hasn't applied them yet. So I'm thinking they're pre-staging something for Monday maybe? And if they're pre-staging something, it might be a big one. It might be a big one. So we'll see. We'll see coming Monday. Now, Monday is um, a holiday for me here in British Columbia, Canada. It is called Victoria Day, acknowledgement of the Queen's Victoria's birthday. Um, yes, we are Commonwealth citizens of the UK, or of... Uh, yeah, so we still pay homage to the monarchy, the British monarchy. They are our de facto rulers because they do have veto through our parliamentary system to be able to veto something in our going through our uh, legislation and whatnot. Um, so anyway, that's never been acted on in the entire time that we've been a sovereign country. <laughs> It's just that it's a it's a here you go here's keys to the apartment you'll never need them but uh, you know it's more of a symbol than anything um, okay I'm tired of mining you know how much frickin' oh my god and it's still just this big giant it's like whew, I am tired of mining I don't want to mine anymore I <laughs> dug out a massive chunk of this Ascosium asteroid. Oh, yeah, and you probably notice I'm up back out in space here because I came back after mining out. Oh, what's going on here? Where's my. Uh, I saw it there for a second. Come on. There we go. <laughs> um, I mined out those two Sathium deposits, so I've got a whole ton of that here. We'll get all this cooking. You know what? Today I think we're going to take off to that where is it? It's that uh, hmm we have to go back to Mokar so we have no choice. We have to go back to Mokar unless we go this way that is 10 uh, and I'm thinking then we could like come back the other way potentially but what if it doesn't let us what if we can't get to there 10 that would be 20 that would be another and then Mokar is another six round tr or well three so 23 and then another 14, so that's 33, 37, 38, and then 8, 46, and then ugh, I really want to just chance going here. Yeah. Yeah, I think did we actually do Drupid? Yep. Right, that one had the uh, Neo. That's where we got a bunch of the uh, Neo from. Right, okay. Um, let's go here. Let's go here. Oh. Don't want to fall. Don't want going on here there we go well that was weird that just okay uh so let's land let's get back in our ship here and actually what i really want to do to tell you the truth here i'll just uh well actually i want the doors to close so let's oops let's smash into the sides you know 
gonna dent the place. Oh my god, I can't see now. Let's just let's just land. Let's just land. Grab our stuff. Food. Okay, we can shut that down now. But we're gonna have to jump out. Okay. Um Let's grab what we got in here. So I think it's... Did I put it all in? It's a little bit in there. Not much. Let's just grab that anyway. Shouldn't be anything else in there. It's okay. So it's mobile constructor. Yeah, look at all the staff. Just tons and tons. Nice. That's awesome. Let's grab all that. I want to get that cooking right away. Okay. There, let's let's get out. Wait, I don't need my jetpack on because I've got gravity. Okay. Let's just close this up manually here. And uh is it not going to let us grab that? So it's a little bit of a pain in the ass having to be actually standing on something now to get into the control panel. Um, yeah. Well, let's dump this off. So let's put this into the smelter and get this all going. Okay, how's the smelter doing? Still got lot. Oh wow, we're doing really good here. We've, yep, copper, ziscosium. Still got more copper we can do. So yeah, we're over. We're over a thousand and everything now. Nice. Okay. Well, if that's the case, let's warp there. Let's get this going. So let's um. What do we want? We want more Sathium, I guess. Sure. Let's get that going. Okay. That's going to take a while to grind. While it's grinding that, let's put some of the stuff away in the other ones. So, go into the builder, put that in there, and that in there. We're going to go into the fridge. Or here, let's go into the... Um, Ammo, dump that in there. We're getting a good supply of, uh, of plasma charges for SVs, but it's not really. I don't really plan on <clears throat> putting on uh, plasma cannons, really, so it's really a moot point. So that's worth 150, 200. Let's do one of those. Okay. And food processor. Is that food or med? I think that's going to med, med, med processor, yeah. Okay. Let's get going here. Let's just go. What, uh, unless I, wait, there's still tons on here, isn't there? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we should make sure that, no, no, see, see it's still, even though it's standing on that one, it's still got the CV. That's, I'm not sure if that's a bug or not. Still had some good loot in there. Okay. And that goes in the smelter. Uh, nope, we don't have anything to smelt. Nope, that's powder. Nope, nope, nope. Just goes in the builder. Okay, uh, we will need to turn that into fuel, so let's put that in there and get that cooking. Um, okay, let's cl clean in this out. I know this isn't uh, what you really wanted to watch was me doing house cleaning, right? Right? Because, yeah, that's super fun. And it did it again. It went into the CV. That was weird. That was weird. 
Uh, I wish they had a, you know, collect all button, like other things, other containers. I'm always doing that. I'm emptying and filling up constructors all the time. I, I think it would be actually a useful button for constructors. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think we should all go on to Elon and vote. Please add empty all button to uh, constructors. Huh? Huh? Okay, and this ugly thing is going away real quick now. I think, uh, yeah, let's just put this stuff in the builder for now. Okay. Okay, we're doing good here. Oh, let's grab some of the smelted stuff because we want to make a bunch of stuff, right? So let's... Actually, let's just put all of it in the... It'll fit. Won't it? No. No. That's weird. <laughs> okay. Oh, well. melting so it looks like we can make everything that we know now we have what it takes to make everything we know nice what about weaponry and the drills nice okay so and oh yeah we can upgrade the rocket launcher homing so what do they require they require do they require another rocket launcher as their Input items, uh, scosium, electronics, oscillator, motor, power coil. No, they don't. Eh, that's not a big deal. If we pop those off, let's uh, let's make those then. You know what? Let's make four of those because we have... How are we doing here? Let's throw that in there. That's good. Um, we can throw that in there too. Yep. Let's make those because... We can. And we got to get, start getting the SV prep for some combat here. So I'm going to make four of those. Okay. Um, and it's going to require those. So Promethean pellets. Okay. So steel plate, magnesium, electronics, steel plate. Steel plate here. Yeah, let's just grab, grab that, put that in the ammo. Oh, I already had. That. That's okay. It'll fry up that steel plate really quick. Um. So we need. Wait, is this the ammo one? This is. Yeah. So we need uh, the pellets. Where did we put the magnesium ore? There we go. This is what we need. Okay. And... Can we make them now? No. We need electronics. Okay. So... Now, I had a huge stack of them. Big stack of electronics. Didn't I? Did I put them in here? Well, not a big stack, but a semi-stack. <coughs> Okay, so it's going to need copper and silicone. Okay. And can I make them now? Yes. So let's do that. We're going to make make 7 per. That's 70, 140, 210, 280. Need more than 280. Oh. So 350, 420, 490. There, that'll that'll take a while. Okay. And it's also eating up promethium too, so I gotta I gotta be aware of that. I gotta be aware of that. 
So we're, we do need Promethium. That is one thing we're going to need. So in the meantime, let's fly to that asteroid field and see what's up. Go there to say hey. What's up? Okay. Yeah, we got the room. Let's pick this stuff. Oh, let's go into first person view here. Sometimes it can be a little easier. And it doesn't swing around so bad. The camera doesn't, although it's, it's a little bit more jittery because I've got the mouse sensitivity just cranked. So. <laughs> so I only have to move my hand like a fraction of a millimeter really to turn my mouse. Um, yeah, it's, it's easier on me not moving my mouse hardly to actually get full range. Yeah, that's just that's just a slight move of the wrist, and I can spin th 360 because I've got it cranked. Okay, um, so let's go. Wait, no, let's not go. Let's put this in the. I guess I didn't need to uh, walk up to this, but whatever. I did, and we're gonna get some cam veggies going, and we'll check in on that in a bit. Okay. Okay. So let's check out this destination. Oh, what in the... No. Can we go like this? What's going on? I am like... That was weird. Oh, I was stuck. Okay, I'm not anymore. <laughs> Thank God. Okay, uh, there's still a lot of Zascosium left on that thing, it seems. There's the other side too, yeah. Wow. Wow. Okay, let's just get going. Let's, um... Oh, this thing needs a lot of work. It's so sluggish. Oh my goodness. Get up to speed here, yep. Now hopefully this is gonna let us teleport back to Raiden or else we're gonna be a little bit screwed. So let's take a look really quick here. And oh, oh, oh. Um, oh, are you kidding me? Ah, crap. I gotta go all the way around. So if I go up this way, okay, I think we can do it if we. Uh, that's eight. And then 12. Yeah, we can do it. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. It's only. That's okay. That's that's doable. That's doable. Not doable by an SV, but doable by a CV. So. Okay. Okay, we're not screwed. <laughs> So what's here? What is here? We have silicone and sathium. Meh. PVP, it's really cold. Moderate radiation. Difficulty two. Well, we could go visit the trading station, I guess. And then, um, Let's put a waypoint. And we'll head there. If we see anything pop into the screen, we'll go check it out because it'll be a, uh, it'll definitely be a resource meteorite if it is a, if we see a meteorite. Okay. 
Okay, this one has a hangar bay. I mean, I've got gold I can go cash in. I, I, I just wanted to come check it out to, to, to take a look at it. This one looks really cool. I'm not sure if I've been in that one before. I don't think I have. Spade ores there. Huh. Cool. Yeah, there's no, oh, whoa, what do we got here? We've got a red dot because we have, what is that? Is that Sathium? Hmm. Should we take on the yep, Sathium? Let's take on the space drone. We need it for the mission anyway that we're currently on. I decided to. Okay, is it is it gonna shoot? Where, what's my range on these? Yep, we're shooting them. We're shooting them. And he spun around like a little freaking doing the ring on the rosy thing. So okay, they need to fix that. They just need to fix that. Now this is a little hard to gauge. <laughs> how, how close am I? I'm really close now, but okay. So now let's go like, we've got gravity, so we'll go like this and we'll just stick our drone out. And come up here and loot this thing. Oh wow, file of four power coils, that's a score. Holy crap. That's actually really decent. Really decent. Well, all I need now is a rocket drone. So that's pretty cool. So, Sathium Asteroid, right beside the trading station. Or, well, not right beside, but pretty close. Let's mark that. Let's get that marked. Okay. Okay. Um, well, I, th I think we should just keep warping here. Let's take a look. We've got to go up to this asteroid field now. We haven't been there, so that's cool. Okay. How okay. I want to... There we go. i got to get rid of that first and then... No. Um, toggle warp lines. Toggle warp lines. No. Okay. How do I... Do I untarget him? Am I targeting him yet? No. And then, no. Really? Okay. So, but it shows we can do it, right? Doesn't it? It's. Oh, I see what's going on. Okay. So we got to find the proper. I'm just not. There we go. Okay, so that's a little kludgy. If you go to click on something, and if you're not on... Oh, oh now it's... Yeah, whatever. Now it's not even... I don't... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's going on anymore. <sighs> Let's get the heck out of here. We should put what we got left in here. 50. Yeah, we've got enough to get going home. No problem. Okay, so let's check out, well, we've been here. This is home, isn't it? No, that's, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 what is going on there? What is going on there? I don't see a trade symbol. Should we get a little closer? Should we get a little closer and just, just, Brave the. We'll brave this because that just looks too cool. And I have not seen that. Be Whoa! Okay, okay. So yeah, no, that's a big no right now. Uh, we'll 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 come back later. Oh, I didn't even get to mark that. I didn't even figure out what that was. It didn't register. Brrr. 
Okay, well, let's keep going home. So we've already been here, right? We've got, didn't we? We've been here before. Hardjapol, Hardjapol orbit, wait. I... Um... But I... Hey... Uh... Um... But I had the Ferrix asteroid field targeted. Target locked. Did I not? And now I... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, bugs! Really? Did it actually teleport me to Hardjapol? When I had the Ferrix asteroid field locked? You gotta be kidding me! Didn't I? Okay, so can I target lock something else? So it, it sent me to Harjapol. What? What the hell? I did not have that target locked. Okay, so I can lock that because yeah, because I'm. Oh my god, what a horrible bug that totally screwed me. Oh my god, why did it do that? I... Uh, What? I did not want to go there. Okay, so now I'm screwed. I don't think I've got the... Um, I think it totally boned me. <sighs> That's not even funny. That's There's nothing funny about that. Well, let's go here then. Can I actually target lock? Yep, okay. Well. Did it... I don't know why it said hard to pull. I guess I, I should have paid attention to that before I warped, right? Because, you know, I should have stopped myself and went, hey, wait, why am I targeting hard to pull? Why? Okay, so now we're more car. Um, do I try and get there? Lock target, okay. Ferrex asteroid field. And Ferrix Asteroid Field, okay. Okay, so now we haven't been here yet. Oh, and there is a trading station, it says. Okay, we might have to go check this out now because I think we're getting low on Pentaxid. Asteroids, none. Wow. Epic, really? Mode, PvP, radiation, 9.9. None? Okay, so we've got 22 left. Crap. Okay. Um, well, let's go check it out. Can we actually target lock? Let's, let's see. Can we... Can we do riding? We can. 
So we've got enough. We've barely got enough to get back. Okay. Okay. That's fine. We're okay. We're okay. We don't have any past that, but we can get home. Okay. Woo! I was a little bit worried. So there is nothing here besides a trade station. Okay, let's just go back then. We don't need to go in there. Let's just head home. We're going to head home. Here we go. Back to riding. Let's, I, I don't even know if I call it home. We're going to be... Oops, yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to be nomadic anyway. Okay. So... What I really want to do is I want to get down and find... Um, what I want to do is is here let's let's switch back to the Robson protocol um, huh why doesn't it tell me what's going on approach the compound access the mainframe huh so I didn't get the marker for that because I I did the skip through it thing to get there because I'd already gotten up to this point in the previous build and I didn't want to go through that whole thing manu uh, manually so I so I just fast forwarded it through the mission and it seems that I'm not going to get markers because of that. So that could be problematic. So that's something to note is, oh, no, approach the compound. Maybe I'm going to. Maybe I'm going to approach the compound, access the mainframe. Okay. Maybe. Not actually sure where I even live on the planet. To tell you the truth, I don't know. I don't know, it's water somewhere. That doesn't look like it. Maybe over here. Yeah, I'm just not sure. So this will be the first time bringing the camo shack back down to the surface since we launched it into space however many game days ago that was that was quite a while <clears throat> we've been we pretty much went around the entire galaxy um, <clears throat> there's some cool looking planets and I'm I'm expecting that they'll probably expand on that now that they're testing that they're gonna like have multiple um, planet type planets of each kind of type so oops what do we got going on here we've got red why do we got red what's red I am am I upside down I'm upside down what's red what's red come on what's red really radar station ah okay so radar station way over there um, what do we got over here? We've got the base. Oh my, we are like quite the distance then. Okay, so it gave us markers now that we came back down to the planet. Huh. Awesome. I guess since reactivating it, that's all I had to do is deactivate and reactivate. I should have tried that. I should have tried that. So let's here, let's just straighten out. Oops. We might not necessarily go back to the base with the C V. Let's take a look. And there is water up over there. Oh that's a 
Oh, that's in a hazard zone. Crap. Titan. All the Titan parts. Got to get to those too and just multi-tool them down the trading station. So we are way, way over there. And that's way over there. We're about in the middle. We're about in the middle. Let's, well, let's go north then. Screw it. You know what? We don't have... I'm going to have to actually find Promethium here too. I can always drop down to one of these tiny little water water holes and throw some uh, go grab my other water generators and bring them over here I don't really need a pad anymore I've got the although I could spawn in a CV drill over at the pad because I am 20th level hmm I don't know. <clears throat> I think I'm I'm actually pretty close to 21st, aren't I? Yeah, I can hold off. I can hold off. I can do it by unlocking it and building it. So we'll see if we can um, find any more... Wow, power left is horrible. Yikes. See the needle going down on the tank. Yep. Yep. We're going to need to find Promethium. And why? What's... Can't dig. Can't... What is that? Ooh, a little bit of a video glitch there. That's not good. Uh, that's weird. Back there, I couldn't dig or build. Not sure why. Okay. Let's get our shell of a ship over. I'm going to want to park it near water. So I don't think I want to get that close. I'm going to... Let's, um... We'll go over on this side here. Let's take a look. Let's take a look there. One of the advantages to having a CV that's warp capable fairly early on in the game is is be able to travel around, bringing your vehicles with you to POIs is really really um, makes it a lot easier to do the POIs. Trust me. And I never have activated a base that I made yet. It was sure I've taken a couple over to strip them down, but not to actually use them as a base. So it's all f kind of foggy over there. We can't see. I'm just gonna bring this down. Oh, that's a perfect area right there for for the. Uh, look at that! Wow, amazing. Okay, so let's level this off. Oops, level this off, and we'll just lower her down. And I'm going to go back a little bit more. 
I actually want to be in the water, believe it or not. It'll make it a little easier. Okay, it's not 100% level, but not too bad. That's not bad. We can live with that. Okay, so let's kill our engines and let's put some more fuel in here since we ate up so much there, now it'll now the fuel consumption will slow down now that we got the engines turned off <laughs> okay we'll put this stuff in the builder and we'll grab these we're gonna grab the that okay and then we also want to from the builder i think i saw it all in there didn't i didn't i yeah okay so we want to grab those i might have to make more but okay let's let's go and we're gonna upgrade the sv a little bit here and then we're gonna go check out the um the poi and we'll call it an episode. We're not going to do anything with the POI. We're just going to check it out, see what we're up against. But I want to, I want to upgrade the SV first, since we've got it all built. Why not, right? Why not? And this thing, I'm going to multi-tool down and spawn in. I'll get the other HV ready to spawn in, and we'll do that on the next episode because. Um, we're probably going to want to disable the, maybe, maybe if there's nothing, we might be able to disable the turret. So, oh wait, what am I doing? Let's, uh, put the stuff on it, right? Let's gear this bad boy up. So we're going to remove these two. And then we're also going to be putting two in... I do it here yeah on there and yeah I think that'll that'll go good I think so let's try this so we've got our four here and There we go. There we go. Okay, so you know what? I haven't even named this thing yet. Like, what should I name it? It's it's kind of boxy, but it's good. It's like a Volvo, right? Um, I don't know. I don't know. You know what? I'm going to let you guys name this thing. I'm going to let you guys name this thing. Um, we also want to upgrade. So we're going to upgrade and we're going to work around this a bit and try and get... Especially in the front here. <clears throat> I want to make sure that around the cockpit those are all hardened steel good okay get this all it's unfortunately you can't really see if you've upgraded it or not it's just kind of blindly groping. <clears throat> I don't know why I said groping. It's um, inappropriate. OK. 
Okay. Actually, I think getting the inside of the cockpit is probably more important at this point. Done a bunch of it, I think. Yep. Okay. Get all that likely to get shot to be in a raised section. This is going to make this thing a little sluggish, I think, but we'll try it out. We'll see. Okay, how many? Oh yeah, still got lots. Okay. Actually, you know what? Let's. You know what's important now is getting the bottom side. Let's turn this on. I'm just going to raise up a bit. We'll jump out. And get this all. punishment but I'm gonna probably suffer quite a bit on performance I'm gonna take a performance hit don't really care I think armoring this thing up is gonna be very important Eventually, but not right now. stuff around the thrusters because that's likely to get shot stuff around the doors okay am I out of I might be out yeah I'm out okay so that's good enough for now then that's good enough for now Let's, we've got lots of ammo, let's fill that, oh, why, a camo shack, why, what, oh come on, I'm standing on my frickin, <sighs> what, come on, give me my SV, this is ridiculous, what, Grr. 
Burga Burga. Really? Okay, well, I guess I'll jump in it. If that's that camel shack, that's gonna be... That's gonna be like, no! No! Okay, so let's do that. We'll do that. Even though we don't really need to, we'll do that. And, hmm, didn't know I had so much in there. Okay, that's fine. Okay, let's put the food in the fridge. And, oops, left some of that. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. It's all fine. Let's head out. So, it still seems really nimble and fast. Oh, yeah. Yep. Upgrading the whole thing like that did not really hurt it at all. If anything, it smoothed out its steering a bit. Might have been a little over twitchy before, but now it seems awesome. Okay, we have homing missiles. We have, or no, I guess they're homing rockets. We're going to fly into the sun. Here we go. Let's check out the radar station. Meteorite incoming. Really? Where? Because the HV that I'm going to spawn in is awesome for meteorites. Simply awesome. Okay. Well, I don't know. It's a big planet. Whoa! We've got something over there too. Oh, we've got a bunch of things. What is that? These are, these are, I have not seen these. Oh, what is that right there hiding? What is that right there hiding? See that? What is that right there? It's just a little mini fortification. Okay, so I gotta get past the fortification. Oh man, in the, really? <laughs> really? It put it in a radiated zone, so now it's in this permanent fog. I actually... Get it? Wow. That was pretty epic. Whoa! Um, did, did, did it just puke out a whole... Whoa! Um, <laughs> and that's why I got a hot rod. Because when you want to move fast, you got to move fast. What the hell shot at me? <clears throat> Something over there shot at me. Was that another fortification? Is that another fortification then? I think it is. I see, think I see one right over there. Oh, and it's all foggy. This sucks. <laughs> and, okay, so I got that one. That's interesting. Now, can he shoot at me from there? Let's circle, let's circle around and see what else we... Oh, there's another fortification there. Holy crap. Whoa! Wait, wait! That looked like a rocket! Was that a homing rocket at me? Did I just get... Did I just barely get out of range in time? Are you kidding me? A homing rocket? There's no way. There's no way they would have done that. Is there... Ow! It is! It's a freaking homing rocket! Holy crap, holy! Holy, holy, holy! That is, um... Um... Wow! Uh... Really? Okay, so let's do it. We can't really hide from it.
Okay, I got it. Missiles. Missiles being shoot at me. That's the first time I've ever had enemy POIs with homing rockets. That is epic, guys. That is epic. Okay, I want to back off and see how this thing's fared. It, it's taken a couple direct hits from from frickin' rockets. Frickin' rockets. Not lasers, but frickin' rockets. Okay. That was awesome. Let's just um, head back over here. We'll just get out of the... Uh, <clears throat> wow, okay, so we're up against something pretty nasty there. Uh, good thing we upgraded this thing to go in, because I, I can't even imagine what would happen if we went in with, like, a piece of crap vehicle. We'd be just with rockets? Homing rockets? Holy crap. I'm impressed. Well, we went and checked it out. We know what we're up against. We've taken out a couple of the fortifications. Uh, we've got some work ahead of us over there. We've got some serious work ahead of us over there. So off camera, I'm going to be multi-tooling that piece of crap down. I'm going to be putting it in the factory and I will have a better HV ready for us to spawn in. But we're not going to be using the HV right away. We still got some work to do with this guy. And we're going to quickly check out how much damage I took. vehicle I should never have made. <laughs> okay. Take this stuff out of the fridge. Well, that was... Wow! Rocket! Homing rockets, guys! Homing rockets! You can't avoid homing rockets. Once they're shot at you, you can only get out of their range. So let's see. Let's see how we fared. Bring this up. Oh, wow, look at that. Holy crap, we lost a bunch of blocks. And I did not repair to... I did not do the repair to factory thing. And I can't anyway, because I don't have the... Wow. Okay, so good thing I upgraded. Wow. Oh, actually, that wasn't too bad. I lost... I lost my lights. Huh. Okay, let's repair this. Lost my lights. I gotta remember to do the um, repair to uh, blueprint thing after I repair this here and replace the blocks. So I lost a block there. Those were headlights. So I didn't... So, meh. You know what? Could have been way worse. Didn't even take any damage, so that was it, just here. This area here, I mean, I took like, what, three or four m rockets. wonder what they were shooting at. Because if they were homing rockets, they, they were shooting at my lights? Really? <laughs> like, or were they shooting at me? They're probably shooting at me. You know what? I bet you they're shooting in towards the cockpit. That's what was going on. Okay, well, good thing I encase myself in hardened steel uh, with multiple I'd say this thing fared awesome two lights getting shot out I don't care that is nothing that's not going to cripple it in combat um, okay so we got to fill that in so it did lose a, a few blocks it lost some blocks <clears throat> okay not a big deal I will pair that off camera and we'll get that repainted up and I will get this multi-tooled off camera and get the HV ready to be spawned in oh it's gonna be glorious we will either die next episode or um, neutralize get we were we are gonna get to that POI 
we're going to make it so that we are at the POI and hopefully uh, maybe even do it, maybe finish the Robson protocol because it looked like the last thing on our list to do. Yep. That's it. That's the last thing on the list. Need to find the mainframe access in the control room in the main compound. Any logs or info should be stored there. Good luck. Okay. Okay. Well, there you have it, folks. We survived our first little encounters with uh, POIs, really. Um, and yeah, we did quite well actually. We with the four with the four rocket launchers, we don't really need to hit them a lot of times because uh, um, we're doing you know max damage every time we shoot. So that helps. That helps a lot. Well, guys, uh, thanks for watching. And next episode, we are going to go take on that POI and probably the surrounding POIs to knock them down so that we can get to the POI with our newly spawned HV that we're going to bring in. So stay tuned, and until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day. <laughs>